Hello, my name is Mr. Chun. Welcome to my study room. Today, I'm solving objective question 25 of the 2023 General Mathematics Paper written by Ghana. And the question reads that when the point with coordinate 4, 5 is rotated through an angle in the anti-clockwise direction about the origin, its image is negative 5, 4. What is the angle of rotation? We take the key fact from this problem and the first one is that the coordinate of the point is 4 and 5 and that of the image is negative 5 and 4. And that is not the only thing. This is a rotation through anti-clockwise direction. So this anti-clockwise rotation about the origin. Another important information. So we are now to find the angle of rotation. The easiest way to solve this question is to map the point against its image. So I have 4 and 5. I'll write it in the column form against the image, which is negative 5 and 4. Right. So if I'm taking the coordinate of the point to be x and y respectively, then the image is going to be negative y x. I didn't do anything different because this is 5 and the same 5 is here but the only difference is that we negated that's why I moved the y to the top and I negated it and the 4 is the same thing I repeated so if the 4 is x it's the same thing that is here then it is now our duty to be able to tell what angle of rotation gives us this one negative x negative y and this one some of you may just know it of head that this is 90 degrees anti-clockwise or counterclockwise rotation but with those who might not know it or memorize it there is a way of finding it that i shared in a video whose link i'm sharing at the top now and it also be in the description of this video i will just share that quickly as we take our original point x y and then take this the starting point to be zero degrees then from zero we move to 90 degrees 90 to 180 degrees and then 180 to 270 we can move to 360 but 360 will bring us back to zero and remember this is anti-clockwise this anti-clockwise rotation so we assume that a man is riding a bicycle and anytime he climbs the hill he loses energy and anytime energy is lost we negate that coordinate and when the man is descending energy is conserved there's no energy gain and there's no energy loss so we maintain it the way it is so from here the y goes up which means energy is lost so it becomes negative y the x comes down which means energy is conserved so we maintain our x and then from 90 to 180 the x goes up energy is lost so it becomes negative x the negative y comes the energy is conserved so with the same negative y that means 180 degrees rotation has the image negative x negative y and then from 180 to 270 energy is lost so we negate this and becomes positive y and then x comes down energy is conserved so we still have negative x that means 270 degrees anti-clockwise rotation has the image y negative x and you see that when we move to 360 this one goes up here energy is lost so we can positive x this one comes down energy is conserved we get y which is 360 and that brings us back to zero that is why we don't consider 360 as one of them so by looking at this already said that it's 90 but this also confirms that the 90 degrees is what gave us this same rule. So the correct answer is A, which is 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. I hope this has helped your understanding of the concept. If yes, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Till we meet again in my study room. Bye bye.